So working out and training by yourselves properly to see the results that you guys are looking for is not necessarily an easy thing to do. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about three different areas or drills you can work on by yourself to improve your finishing around the rim. So the first area that we're gonna talk about is our touch around the rim, right? We hear that word a lot in, in basketball, right? Oh, that player has great touch around the rim, but what does that really mean? Now to me, touch just means the force, the trajectory, and the spin that you're putting on the ball around the rim. So typical touch drills that you guys hear of is really just your mic and drill, where we're just standing around the rim, just working on these very simple layups. Now, if you guys are six to eight years old and you can't really make layups, that might be really beneficial for you because it's challenging, but once we get Get to a point where that's too easy that touch right mic and drill becomes almost useless we see diminishing returns pretty quickly so we need to come up with some better drills to work on our touch that are actually going to help us see improvement so one drill that i like that we use in the finishing course that we recently dropped is just working on different hand positionings jumping from different spots around the floor right challenging that ability to apply the correct force trajectory and spin so first one might be jumping from this hash line and then we're going underhand finishes we can do that both trying to swoosh it as well as to use the backboard. And then we can even do that a step further, hitting different areas of the backboard. We can progress that even more to going from the second hash line, again, no backboard, backboard hitting different areas of the backboard. So really what we're just trying to do is challenge, like I said, the trajectory, the force that we're putting on the ball and doing it in a way that actually challenges us, right? When we're doing the mic and drill, we can make 99 out of 100 layups. Again, it's not gonna get us better. Doing something like this is gonna challenge that touch in a way that's not too easy, but not too hard. Now, another touch kind of series that we do within the finishing course that I like is working on things where we're driving down the lane line, working on scoops, or working on extension. So we're training two different hand positionings, working on kind of game specific angles, and then again, trying to work on our ability to hit different areas of the backboard and use the proper touch around the rim. So those would be two quick drills that you guys can do both on the right side with your right hand, left side with the left hand. If those become too easy, feel free to challenge yourselves and do anything again that works on our touch, the force application, the spin and the trajectory in ways that challenge yourself, right? That's the biggest key. It needs to be difficult. You need to be messing up. You need to be stretching that comfort zone to see improvement in terms of your touch. So the second area that we can work on, which I think might surprise you guys, is working on our dribble step timing. So this is actually kind of the root cause of a lot of players having a tough time using proper footwork around the rim, being deceptive, euroing, changing directions inside the paint, coming to stops, right? A lot of players have trouble with this simply because they don't have good dribble step timing. Now, what do I mean by that? Dribble step timing is really just our ability to kind of match our dribble and our step together and just have fluidity with our dribbles and with our steps. Now, one drill that I really like that's very simple that we use within the finishing course is just dribbling alongside the three-point line. So it's kind of, as you guys can see, obviously a curved line. And then we're just sprinting, trying to again, match up our dribble and our step. If you don't have good tri dribble step time, what you'll see a lot of players, they're kind of, <laughs> it's very clunky when they try to run around. So you wanna make sure that you're smooth with that dribble, that step while you're running full speed around that. Now. Another drill to progress that that we use is running alongside the semicircle. So again, same thing, driving in a curvilinear line, timing up our ball foot, getting around the three point line or the semicircle, and then using that to then get into different footwork finishes around the rim. So if you don't have the ability to properly time up your dribble and your step as you're attacking the rim, you're gonna be out of rhythm, you're gonna be messing up your footwork, you're gonna be losing the ball, bouncing off your foot, things like that, and you just simply cannot be an effective finisher if you're doing this. So these are some great basic drills that you guys can use to work on them. So quick break, hope you guys are enjoying the video. Just wanted to briefly mention our finishing course that we just recently launched. So I'm gonna take 30 seconds to briefly explain it to you guys, and then we'll get right back to the video. So with that said, our finishing course is a six week course, all located on the TGL training app that you guys can get in the app store so you guys can easily follow along the course. The course is very progressive, starts somewhat simple, so no matter what level you guys are at, we're then going to progress across six different weeks where we work on different aspects, segments of the game, as well as give you guys access to the film room, give you guys access to other free resources to elevate your entire game in general. But like I said, it has everything that you guys need. Eliminating the guesswork for you guys so you guys know exactly what you're doing when you're doing it. So with that said, let's get right back to the video. So the third area that we can really work on effectively by ourselves is our body control. Now this is pretty simple. It's obviously the control of our body, but in a lot of different situations, right? We're making contact on the ground, being able to keep control of our body and the ball while absorbing contact, giving contact in the air, on the ground, and then obviously adjusting and adapting our body in the air. These are very 
important concepts to be able to do. And this is something that you guys can very easily work out on your own. So one of my favorite drills for this, driving down towards the rim and then trying to jump and then touch the net and then adapt your body in the air. So this is a great one to train your body control as well as your dribble step timing, your rhythm, your control, as well as your touch around the rim. Now, obviously, if you can't touch the net, get up as high as you can. If the net's too easy, maybe you're trying to touch the backboard, adapt and finish, or even touching the net and then finishing. Another simple, a little simpler progression to that might just be throwing it off the backboard, catch in the air, and then finish in the air, right? So again, just challenging that body control, our ability to adapt in the air and just still being able to control our body, be calm, relaxed under these different circumstances. Now it's kind of tough to completely work on this by yourself because you don't, can't work on contact, jumping up, hitting somebody, and then finishing in the air. But if you guys check out the finishing course, we have you guys covered from solo drills to partner drills to live reads to everything that you guys need to increase your ability to finish around the rim as well as everything we talked about here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, drop a comment, hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.